Hello everybody and welcome, I'm Dr. Luigi Vorluni. In this video lesson we will be talking about stem cells. All cells arise from pre-existing cells, which is the basis of cell theory and the fundamental tenant of biology. The name stem cells is given to cells that have two defining properties, the ability to self-regenerate and the ability to differentiate into other cell types. Essentially, stem cells have the ability of self-renewal by proliferating indefinitely through mitosis to create identical unspecialized cells, as well as giving rise to cells able of specializing into mature cells, such as muscle cells or nerve cells. Stem cells include embryonic stem cells and adult stem cells also known as somatic stem cells. Embryonic stem cells differentiate into over 200 cell types and increase in number to form the body, while the adult stem cells are important for tissue repair and replenish. During early development, the cell division is symmetrical. That means that when a cell divides, gives rise to daughter cells with the same potential while later in the development, the cell divides asymmetrically, meaning that the daughter cells produced include a stem cell and a more differentiated cell. Stem cells are categorized according to their potency, that is the ability to differentiate into other cell types. Embryonic stem cells can be either totipotent or pluripotent in nature, while adult stem cells are either multipotent or unipotent. Let's see this in a bit more details. A fertilized egg is totipotent, as it can develop into all cell types, including the embryonic membranes. As an egg starts to divide by mitosis, quickly loses its ability to develop into all cell types. Soon after the zygote starts to develop into postmorula, it reaches the stage of a blastocyst. The inner cell mass of the blastocyst, also called embryonic stem cells, consists of pluripotent stem cells and have the capability of developing into all cell types, except the cells of the embryonic membrane. Essentially, these cells can differentiate into any of the three gem layers, from which originate all cell types in the human body. Multipotent cells are present later in the development, including adulthood, and can give rise to a limited number of cell types. For example, somatic stem cells found in the bone marrow can give rise to red and white blood cells. Adult stem cells are present in different tissue and organs. Adult stem cells are undifferentiated and are found among differentiated cells in a tissue or organ. An adult stem cell can renew itself and also can differentiate to yield some or all the major specialized cell types of a tissue or organ. Thus, the primary roles of adult stem cells in a living organism are to maintain and repair the tissue in which they are found such as the brain, the intestine, the bone marrow, the skin and the liver, as well as the many other tissues. However, the ability of adult stem cells to repair tissue or organ is somewhat limited. A number of studies on embryonic stem cells have been carried out, and research in this area is controversial. A critical question for scientists and society was how to produce pluripotent cells without destroying an embryo. The answer was to take an adult stem cell and alter its pattern of gene expression. In order to reprogram the cell so that it becomes pluripotent and not just multipotent. This research method is called the nuclear reprogramming of somatic stem cells. Let's see this in more details. 
Research has shown that just a few genes are responsible for the cell's characteristics of pluripotency and self-renewal. Specifically, these genes are OCT4, CMYC, SOX2 and KLF4. Even though these genes of pluripotency are present in all cells, in adult cells they are turned off, and a method to turn them on is not yet known. However, scientists developed a method of inserting extra copies of these pluripotency genes to alter gene expression. The cells produced were termed induced pluripotent stem cells or IPS cells. Now let's see how this was achieved. In one study was used a type of differentiated adult cells called fibroblasts, found in connective tissue. In this specialized type of cell, the pluripotency genes were turned off, and scientists used a virus as a vector to deliver the pluripotency genes OCT4, CMYC, SOX2, and KLF4. Once these genes were delivered into the fibroblast, they were integrated in its DNA. This allowed the pluripotency genes that had been switched off to be expressed again. The result was that the fibroblast was reprogrammed and reverted to a multipotent state. Previous research used skin cells to develop iPS cells, which were grown in culture. Induced pluripotent stem cells are not without their problems, one of which involves overcoming epigenetic changes because iPS cells may retain epigenetic memory. Another issue relates to the tendency of iPS cells to form tumors. Stem cells have various therapeutic applications, including generating new skin to treat skin burns, for bone marrow transplant, they are also used in regenerative medicine for tissue and organ repair, or to grow new organs, such as the bladder, also to help reverse blindness, to treat liver disease, or damaged heart muscles, as well as for tackling sickle cell disease. In David Game College YouTube channel, we have uploaded other interesting scientific videos about different topics. They are in the medical program playlist, and you can watch them too.